Hi there, my name is Robert. Um, I'm doing a learning journal lesson eight. Um, I am talking about the stuff we've learned in lesson eight. <clears throat> um, most of it in this lesson was uh, contemporary issues in criminal justice um, regarding race specifically. Um, there's really a lot of fascinating things um, I learned about in this lesson. The place I learned the most was our discussion, so I'll just kind of go back to some that I read over and, and summarize what I learned. So um, Jordan Allred left a post about um, the population of incarcerated persons and how there's a disparity and how it could be racial profiling um, and, it, and it could be causing a negative impact on the criminal justice system. Um, apparently more citizens of African ethnicity, right? it just means black Americans, um, <clears throat> are pulled over, frisked, and detained. Um, he says, especially for minor offenses, I don't see the data that support the claim that they're minor offenses, but that's what he's saying according to his site, his source. Um, and he said that knowing that um, black Americans are frisked and detained more often, we would think that our prisons would see a larger black population. However, I guess it's only public perception and not accurate. He said, according to the data of Bureau of Prisons for last month, <clears throat> there is a total population of 60,548 black inmates and a white and Hispanic population of 91,050. So now I do know that a lot of um, believers of the uh, racial component or racism component within our criminal justice, which I've, I've yet to make a conclusion on that. I, I kind of lean on the side that I don't think there's as much racism going on as, as is talked about, but I, but I don't think that the system is free of it. I know obviously there's some, some going on. I just think it's, it's, um, heavily, um, it's exponentially blown up out of proportion, I think. But I don't know for sure. I haven't I haven't done all the research necessary to, to, to determine that. This is based on the research I have done, which is quite a lot. That's kind of where I'm leaning. But again, I don't know. So, um, <clears throat> but I know the point, the counterpoint that'll be made to Jordan's statement is, yes, um, black and in, black inmates make up, you know, sixty point five thousand versus white and Hispanics that make up ninety one. But look at the total population, which. Roughly, I don't know the exact number, but I know roughly black Americans make up like 13% of the U.S. population. So the question then becomes, why are they making up 38% of the total population in prison? So, um, you know, I don't have the answer to that question. I think there's there's a lot that needs to be looked into it, such as um, what are these people being arrested for? You have to go in and look at all the cases they're being arrested for. You have to look at when they're arrested, how they're arrested. Um, it's not enough to just look at numbers and say, hey, they're only this much percentage of the population, so they should be this much percentage of the prison population. Numbers don't work that way. And But again, that's not to say that there isn't something going on. You know, ra racism, racial bias, whatever, could definitely be contributing to that number. So, you know, we just don't know. So that, that was like probably the, the most interesting thing that I learned about um, what was his post. Um, I'll stop it there because I usually go over my time limit here, so thank you.